Hey, I'm really excited to introduce the latest app we've been working on, the Webflow Clavio Connector from Restrato Apps. I'm Kevin, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can leverage the power of Clavio with your Webflow e-commerce store to make more sales and track customers much better. So let's get into it. So let's first talk about who is this for? Now, some of you may know that you can already, without our app, take a few embed codes from Clavio uh, embedded into your Webflow site and you'll get some function functionality. You'll get uh, the ability to have some Clavio forms that allow uh, folks on your website to sign up for a Clavio list um, and you'll get some other kind of tracking, some basic tracking uh, of those customers on your site. But there are a number of events and a lot of functionality that you just won't get from doing that. So that's why we created this sort of bridge um, solution to help you make the most of Clavio and all the power that it offers. Uh, so we offer our own kind of cl custom Clavio script that's personalized for um, a lot of the specific tracking events that Webflow uh, does in the background, especially related to card issues, um, especially related to visitors and things like that. So we have our own kind of tracking um, script that we've customized and we install that on your behalf uh, and then we actually make sure um, that all the information being passed from the two systems are working and, and doing well. Um, we, I would say a big one would be like triggering checkout abandonments, uh, emails that you can set up that automatically go out when you notice that customers start their checkout process but don't finish, as well as a number of other cart events uh, in terms of um, the checkout process from start to finish. So a lot of these things that you wanna catch um, during before people leave uh, the checkout process you can do with it with our app in addition to that You can use the native webflow forms to send information to Clavio. So again instead of having to um, Embed and try to stylize a Clavio form uh, That's not native to webflow. You can use those uh, highly customizable webflow forms and hook them up into uh, Clavio to send that information over there so let's get into a little bit more and I can explain some of the actual specific events that can be used um, to track your customer. Okay, so now, you know, just by embedding, you know, once, once you connect um, your account with us to your Clavio account and to your Webflow account, we're going to help you install the code uh, from Clavio into your Webflow site. And we're also going to add a, some additional code um, that, that is customized on your behalf from us to help attract even more events than, than you might otherwise be able to. So um, once the code is on there from Clavio in general, they help you with a lot. They do a lot of stuff uh, uh, automatically and a lot of that is identifying who's visiting the site. Um, and they do it in a different, couple different ways. One is through a Clavio form. So if you have a form that you embed on your Webflow site from them, obviously they're gonna be able to track that. Um, also any kind of time where you uh, put a link in your emails and send it to them to, to your website, they're gonna be able to know that that person clicked on that and they're gonna be able to track what they're doing on the website. Uh, any kind of other manual checkout items that you have too or forms um, from that you've, that you've uh, obtained from Clavio, they're gonna be able to track. So they're really great at tracking in general as long as um, you know, they're coming, your the customers are coming from their emails and, and different things like that. Now, when we get into um, connecting everything together, once you've connected, again, your account to Clavio and to Webflow, uh, our system will go in, grab all of your products, grab the latest versions and, and the details and, and descriptions and uh, any kind of metadata about all of your products and synchronize those to Clavio so that you can go into Clavio and see all of your products in there. Uh, we refresh that um, uh, at least once a day so that they're all up to date and Clavio can do a better job tracking what your customers are interacting, what kind of products your customers are interacting with or your potential customers are interacting with. The other thing we'll do is we'll help you um, get the main core e-commerce event tracked very easily, all at once and instantly. So it's not a bunch of different automations you have to set up one by one, we just do it all. Um, once you get this, uh, once you get authenticated with all our systems, um, and again, authenticate your Webflow and, and Clavio. We're gonna start tracking, helping you track placed orders, ordered products, canceled orders, refunded orders, and fulfilled orders. Now these are events that are generated by Webflow's e-commerce system. And anytime those events happen, 
Clavia will know, will know about it. Um, but we also help track a few other things that are important, that are a little more difficult and require some more, again, customization to do, personalized custom code to be able to do. And so on your behalf, once you get everything connected, we're also going to be able to help you track when someone is active on your site and they didn't come from any of these methods, um, we can immediately tell just that they're on your site if they're in your Clavia list. If, if you have them in your Clavia list or you bring them in, we can start tracking who they are, when they're coming, when they're coming to visit, all that kind of stuff. Um, anytime they view a particular product, we'll know about it and we'll tell Clavia about it. So this is really important if someone's just interested, they're kind of peeking, looking around, and if you start to notice that they like a particular category of products or they're interested in one of your, you know, your uh, flagship products, you can take some action, either tag them in Clavio or you know, take follow up, send them an SMS, an email, etc. like that. If they start to uh, and add a product to the cart, we'll know about that. We'll know exactly what product is, when they did it, how many products they added to the cart, all that stuff is, is now available to you in Clavio. Again, you can set up automations and different actions based on these. And then finally, when they start to check out, we, if you can, you know, if we start to either know who they are to begin with, we can see that they started and didn't finish, and that's when you can again send them a, an abandoned card email. Or if they start to fill out some information, personal information, into the checkout form, we can grab that, send it over to Clavio, and they can be someone who's now tracked. So those are some of the things that we're going to be able to do with the app. Let's get into taking a look at the app itself. All right, so we're at the app now. Now, normally, you this is assuming you've already signed up and you have an account. You're just going to log in or here I'm just going to click dashboard. Once I'm in the dashboard, I'm going to go to my integrations and I'm going to start getting things all set up. Now you can, um, what we'd recommend is you start with the Clavio first. That's just so we make sure we have everything on that side before we connect to Webflow. Um, it makes the synchronization and everything better. If you do try with Webflow, we will ask you to go the other way first. Start with Clavio first if you can um, before you jump into Webflow. So the first step here is to connect to my Clavio site. I'll, I'm just gonna log in and I'll be back. Now you may get a message like this that says app has not been reviewed. We are in the uh, process of applying for the Clavio app store. So if you do see this, just note that, you know, we are, in, it's pending. Um, that said, if you have any concerns or questions, you can just reach out to us. So I'm just gonna continue here. Again, it's gonna basically allow um, everything in your account to be talking to our system. You should be redirected back with a nice green sign. So we've connected our Clavio, and now the next step is our Webflow store site. So here's my uh, e-commerce store for Webflow. If you're familiar with Webflow, you can recognize some of the, the design uh, functionality here. And we're just going to click Connect here and go through the same process. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose my store. Um, Restrator Apps is the name of our company and then we're going to go and authorize the app. All right, and I'm back now, and I've now connected everything together. So what should start to happen automatically is that all your products from um, your Webflow store will start to get synchronized. Now, it may not happen immediately, uh, but in the next few hours, you'll start to, to see that happen. Now, if you just want to kind of get started early, you can just go do this manually. I'm just going to click on this, and this is going to start the synchronization process. And as you can see, the synchronization has already begun. Some of the products are starting to, to show up now. I would give it, like I say, 10 to 15 minutes for all the synchronization to finalize, but it, the, the, the synchronization is starting to happen, and what will happen is this product uh, will be synced both on our side as well as in your Clavio uh, account as well. You'll see it under products. Now one thing that we need to make sure we do before we start expecting uh, events to be tracked on our Webflow store is to um, take the custom code and the custom scripts that we've created and copy them into your store. So it's pretty easy. You're just going to go again right here to the integration page, click on uh, show custom code and click the copy button. That'll copy it to your clipboard and then in your store you're going to go to the settings of your site and then you're going to go down to custom code and just place this code right into the footer and just press save. Now if I open one of these products and start to see how the tracking starts to work, um, I'll open a new 
page here in Webflow. I'm now looking at this as, uh, as a customer would. And then I can see in our app that we now start to see that the product has been viewed. So you'll start to see that these uh, analytics will start to change as events are occurring. Now at this point, you can go into your Klaviyo account and start to set up automations and actions based on the events that are coming in uh, through, through our app. So anyway, this is a quick overview of the product. If you're interested in this, check out the link down below in the description. Um, and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or issues getting started. Thanks so much, and we'll see you around.